good morning today we will start uh, boolean expression simplification using carnot map in short this schema there are two ways by which we can simplify boolean expression one is by applying boolean rules and the other by using k map when we apply boolean rules we have two disadvantages one is we need to remember all the rules and regulations and we have to apply and at each step we need to follow and we need to predict what will be the rule that we will uh, have for simplification and another uh, method is your carnot map or k map which is a graphical method and it is very simple to apply which is a graph that we can have a circle or squares and group the min terms to get the product terms so we will see carnot map for one or two way or three variable carnot map and four variable carnot map so in three variable carnot map we will have a function where we will have a summation of min terms for example summation of min terms of 2 3 and 4 so these 2 3 and 4 can be plotted in a carnot map of three variables and we can group them and then we can write the product terms so in this example carnot map we have a function with variables a b and c and since it is a three variable carnot map we will have eight cells which can be numbered as 0 1 2 3 4 5 Six and seven, and the labels for variable of each row and column. For A, it is zero or one, the possible values. For B, C, it is zero 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 one 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 zero. The reason why we follow this order is because of gray code numbering. The min terms in every cell will vary by only one variable. that is why we are following the gray code numbering for this problem you have 2 3 and 4 which are the min terms so we will plot one in the min term cell 2 then we will plot one in 3 and we will plot one in 4 now we need to group do a grouping so when we do a grouping you have to form groups of one min term or one cell then two or four or 8 or 16 that is in powers of 2 so and always we have to give preference for maximum size to group so in this example we have a group of 2 and 3 which can be formed by neighboring cells of k map there are two types of neighbors one is the square adjacency so if you take cell number 3 3 is adjacent to cell number 2 7 1 and if you take uh, the wrap around adjacency the last row is adjacent to the first row and the that is last column and first column are adjacent and the first row and the last row are adjacent to each other so either you can form a square adjacency among the min terms plotted in the k map or you can form a wrap around adjacency and create groups in powers of 2 and then you can write the simplified product term one for each group so in this example you have 2 and 3 which are neighbors which forms only square adjacency so we can group them and this forms group number 1 now if you take group number uh, cell 4 that cell 4 is not adjacent to any of the other neighbors because you don't have a min term in cell 0 and you don't have a min term in cell 5 and the other adjacency is cell number 5 so here also it is there is no min term so since you do not have any neighboring cells 
which are plotted with one. This is an isolated one which can be formed into a separate group. Because you can form groups of ones, twos, fours, eight, sixteen in, power, in powers of two. So that is why we are forming. Now we can write the product term, simplified product term term or simplified expression, boolean expression here yeah, for each of these groups and each one will be a product term. And these product terms when we write it will eliminate the, you can take only the common variables and eliminate the other variable. So if for this row, if we are having a variable A with a value as 0, it represents A complement and if it is having a value 1, it represents A. Similarly, on the column, 0, 0 represents B complement, C complement and here it is B complement, C, here it is B, C and it is B, C complement here which represents 1, 0. So, if you take the first group and among the row, you have only one variable A complement which is common to both the min terms. So, you can take the common variable A complement along the row. And in the column if you take, we have two columns. So we will see the first variable B. B is common to both the min terms. So we can take the variable B. And if you see the third variable C, in one column it is C and the other column it is C complement. So C and C complement gets eliminated. So you have a product term A complement B for the first group. Similarly, for the second group, if you take the row, it is A, because you have only one cell, you will have the complete term A, here it is B complement, C complement. So if it is an isolated one, none of the variable gets eliminated, but if you form larger groups, variables will get eliminated. So the simplified Boolean expression for the given Boolean expression will be F is equal to A complement B plus A B complement C complement. This is an example of a three variable K map. Now we will see an example of a four variable K map. So function F is equal to summation of min terms of 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 13, 14 and 15. Since we have 4 variables, we will have a K map where we will have 16 cells. So 2 variables are distributed along the row and 2 variables are distributed along the column. So we will have A, B for the row and C and D for the column. And here again we will follow gray code numbering because for a, between every cell we will have only one variable which will be changing. So it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. Here also it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. And if we label it is A complement, B complement. Here it is A complement, B. Then you have A, B, A, B complement. Similarly, along the column, it is C complement, B complement, C complement, B, C, D and C, B complement. And each of these cells can be numbered. So you will have 0, 1, 2 followed by 3, then 4, 5, 6 and 7, then 8, 9, 10, 11, then 12, 13, 14 and 15. The way in which we number the cell will be, you will number the cells first row, second, first cell, second cell, then the last column and then the previous column. That is because we are using a grey code for numbering. Similarly, along the row also, first row, second row, last row and then we will lay, number the previous uh, row because we are following grey code numbering. Once we have labeled the cells, we can plot the given Boolean function. So 3, 4, then 5, then 7, we have 9, then 13, then we have 14 and 15. So once plotted, we have to form a group. So priority will be given for the largest group. 
So if you see here, we can find a square adjacency between cells 5, 7, 13 and 15. So you can form a group of all these four ones together and that will be our group number 1. Then if we see the other uh, midterms, midterm 3. Midterm 3 is not adjacent, is not having an adjacency in cell 1, cell 2 and in square adjacency if we, or wraparound adjacency if we see, cell 11 also does not have any midterm. So the only cell which is a neighbor to midterm 3 is cell 7, midterm 7. So we have to group 3 with the midterm 7. So this will form group number 2. Same way you can take group uh, midterm 4. Midterm 4 is adjacent to only other midterm which is 5. So we have to take a group of 4 and 5 which will be group number 3. Same way 9 midterm is adjacent only to 13. So we will form these two into the fourth group. Then finally 14 is adjacent to 15. So you can form a group number 3. Five. So we have formed group 5 groups. The condition is out of for every group there should be at least one unique one. So if you see group number 2 has one, one which is found only in that group. So here you have 4 which is found for group number 3. For group number 4, 9 is unique and for group number 5, 14 is unique. But if you take the first group, it becomes redundant because all the other, every midterm which is found in that group is found in every other group. So you don't have a unique midterm for group number 1. So you can eliminate group number 1 because it becomes a redundant group. So your function f can now be simplified and returned using the min product terms which are found from group number 2, group number 3, 4 and 5. So for group number 2 we will write the product term now. So if you group number 2 is found in the first two rows. So if we take the common variables of the first two rows it is A complement. So you will have A complement. B gets eliminated because in one row you have B complement and the other row you have B. So B variable gets eliminated. And if you take the column, the variable C and D is common to both the cells, so you can take C, D. So the product term for the group 2 will be A complement C, D. Similarly, we can write the product term for group number 3. Since this is found in only one row, it becomes A complement B. So both are common for the midterms. And if you take the two columns for this group, it is C complement which is common for both the columns and D and D complement so it gets eliminated. So we will take the term C complement. Then for the fourth group it is on these two rows. So two rows it is variable A which is common and if you take the column C complement D is common. And if you take the fifth group it is in single row so the common variable in the row is A. And if you take the column, it is C which is common and D gets eliminated. So, so the final simplified Boolean function will be what we have written here. A complement C, D plus A complement D, C complement, A, C complement D plus A, D, C. And you can see in all these terms, one variable has been eliminated. So in short and in summary, if we see today's class, we have discussed Boolean expression simplification by using KMAP for two, three variables as well as four variables. So the advantages, we can uh, directly draw the graph map or KMAP and then plot it, group it and write the product term. We need not remember any Boolean rules which are already implicit in your KMAP. And uh, the order in which we need to apply the Boolean rules and theorems are also not needed when we use your KMAP. So the rules for KMAP, the first thing you will have to plot the Boolean uh, min terms onto the KMAP. After plotting you will have to group 
and grouping you will give priority for the larger sized group and groups will be of powers of 2 and after grouping you can eliminate any redundant group so a redundant group is where you do not have any unique one and after elimination you can write the product term for every group and when you write the product term you have to choose the common variables for the rows and common variables along the columns and write the product terms. Thank you.